Hello, good day everyone. This is Kira CFX. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to close your position after when you reduce the lowest lot size. After when you close the position or when you reduce the lot size and you're trying to close the position, it's not going to close, okay? That is the current upgrade they just did on MT5. You won't be able to close your position when you reduce the lot size to the maybe let's say for instance the broom and crash want that um the broom and crash index the lot size for them is the 0 0.20 lot size then you reduce it to the 0 0.05 lot size or 0 0.10 lot size then you try to close the position it's not going to close to close my because i'm fun on swinging with the trade the position i opened since last month I think I just lose them yesterday and that is one of the reason why I don't offer the signal service because as a signal servicer you don't want to swing with the trade even though you're swinging with the trade you just have to make sure you are giving your client daily signals because if you want to offer the paid signal you have to make sure you are giving your client accurate signals at least more signals in a day okay and i as a swing trader i won't be able to do that okay um do not that i don't offer signal I offer free signals in my if you are with me in my telegram channel or in my whatsapp group i do drop most of my trade almost all my trade for the last month Included this month, I do drop my setup there the way I took the trade and everything there. I do drop it there, but and once I'm done opening a position, I just forget it there for at least one month, sometimes three weeks, sometimes a week. And I'm so sorry, sorry about that. It is not my just I'm just so sorry about that. Uh, it is not my fault, but when you discover something that works for you okay that is one of the part of the strategy um before i don't swing with the trade but i discovered that when i swing with a trade like i have complete peace of mind because sometimes i forgot that i have a position it is when i just check or let me just analyze the market and i'll be like wow oh my god and this will be like magic not that my the position don't eat my stop loss sometimes it's it's my stop loss then i will be good okay and i will just thank god that even when he eat my stop loss i wasn't there then i will just lock up and when the market is in profit then i will know what to do maybe i want to um lock in the price or i want to close some position or maybe it has it's my tp then that is what i will reanalyze and know what i want to do next that is just it for me okay and is there an inter trader i don't i do scalp not that i don't scalp i do scalp especially when it comes to boom and crash you can see these common strategies for scalpers i do scalp maybe i want to scalp for one hour i want to scalp for two hours then i'll scalp and exit the trade but most of when it comes to trade like i'm ready to trade i swing with the trade and um, i discover most things in people some people don't know how to swing with a trade because as a swing trader sometimes you have to be very very patient you have to exercise patient i mean when it comes to patient i mean the word patient you have to be very patient because at least sometimes your market has to be in losses for at least three days in the fifth day the market will start growing profit then you'll be like you start smiling smiling and smile and smile and smile until it gets to your destination that is just it for me okay i discover that swinging with the trade is the best for me and it really really works for me all right that is why i don't offer this signal program but i uh, actually drop signal whenever i want to trade 
this is how it is this is how it is for free okay when it comes to that i drop the signals for free and uh yeah me saying all this doesn't mean you should change from who you are if you are intraday trader please continue with it okay i don't mean you cannot be a swing trader you can be a swing trader only if you give it a trial if you give it a try and it works for you okay you can continue with the board if you are intraday trader and you trading everything is working for you perfectly please keep it up okay that is what i mean so don't i am not saying all this just to change your mindset of who you are or maybe you are intraday trader you are a scalper or whatever trader you could be i'm not saying this to oppress anybody I'm, I'm just saying what is best for me and my aim on this journey is to discover the best out of myself okay please do not get me wrong thank you so much okay guys and that is when i confirm that if you are trying to close a position with the um, lowest slot size okay if you have been able to reduce the lowest lot size to the minimum lot size and you want to close the trade it is not going to close so i have a solution for you guys if you have been bothering with that or you've not been able to close your position and again if you are still not able to reduce the lot size I'm gonna show you guys first how to reduce the lot size and then how to close your position in this video. All right, here we go. Let's say for instance, for the Bruma crash in this, you open a trade. Let's say you sell this commodity with the 0 0.50 lot size. You sell this and you reduce this lot size to 0 0.10 lot size okay you reduce this and you want to close this position it's not going to close um and if you're having the problem of to close your trade after you've reduced the lot size this is what you're just going to do just have to tap on this place change it back to 2.0 lot size do you see this then you can close your position now I believe you got what I'm talking about. Let me do another um, example on the. Let me check volatility seventy five. Okay. Okay, volatility seventy five has the zero point zero zero one lot size. Let's check another commodity. Let's use volatility ten index. Okay. For the volatility 10 index, the lowest lot size you can use is 0 0.3 lot size. Then let's say you use 0 0.35 lot size to open this trade. Then you raise the lot size to 0 0.05 lot size. So you close the position. Then you are having this 0 0.05 lot size. Then you want to close this trade now. Then you notice this is not closing. Okay, you tap this several times, not going to close. I told you that is the new upgrade they just did on md5 this is all you have to do just have to tap in this place type 0 0.3 lot size there and close your position in profit that is just and i believe you understand how this works now after you have reducing your lot size and you're finding it difficult to close your position just type it there manually and close your position all right thank you so much for watching this video and please if this is your first time of watching my video please assist me by smashing that subscribe button and uh, if this is not your first time assist me again by liking this video thank you thank you so much I really appreciate you guys. See you in my next video. Goodbye.